Welcome back to another battery test. I thought I'd uh, have a look at these GTL 16340 rechargeable batteries. These are the same size as the rechargeable CR123As that you see. Now I got these off of eBay. This is the place that I got them at £2.60 for two. And you'll be able to see in the description, they're also confirming that the capacity is 2,800 milliamp hours. Now, if you don't know anything about batteries, that's an unrealistic figure to have for a battery of this size very unrealistic they do um, taking them out the wrap here just to have a look there's nothing wrong with the construction of the batteries I'm comparing it to an Olight rechargeable CR123A which I've been using for a while so they're actually saying that they're going to get higher capacity than this 18650 it's a Claris branded uh, Panasonic rewrap which is basically impossible CR123A cells are actually slightly smaller than half the size of these. So we'll just do a quick weight test. You'll notice they are a bit lighter out of the pack and that's usually a good indicator of a battery capacity or quality if they're light. And these are coming in at around about 14 grams. And if I compare it to the Olight, that comes in just under the 20. So there's definitely a difference there. Now onto the capacity test, the discharge test, and we can see the results are pretty bad, just over the 300 milliamp hours for both cells. So that's a massive difference between what they're suggesting you get in capacity and what it actually delivers the battery. And I did test the internal resistance just to see whether these are old worn out cells they tend to have higher internal resistance than uh, larger batteries smaller lithium ones so there's nothing to indicate that these are old worn out cells they're just really poor quality so my advice on these ones is not to buy they're just unacceptable capacity and misleading label as well so if you have bought these make sure you get your money back and if you see them for sale just ignore them these are a poor quality battery you'd need to be up to around about the five 550 milliamp hours to make it worthwhile considering buying a budget uh, CR123A cell.